The key idea in this section is how to estimate parameters about a population using information just from a sample from that population. Now we already talked about the ideas of population location and spread in section two, uh, but here we're going to talk about how to actually calculate these things using the sample mean and the sample standard deviation. Okay, so remember our marbles from before? Let's pretend now that our marbles are people, because people are more interesting than marbles, and let's pretend uh, that we, instead of estimating the proportion of red marbles versus blue marbles, we're going to estimate the average number of friends that a person has. Now that sounds like a data set that I collected before, the average number of followers on Twitter. So here it is to remind you. And now that sample is actually a bit too large and cumbersome for us to work with, so let's, uh, let's take a, a smaller sample, this time of just the number of friends of five people on Twitter. So here's this sample. So one person's got 86 friends, one person's got 128 friends, another person's got 128 friends, uh, someone's got 221 friends, and then there's one very famous person who's got 13,605 friends. So the first thing is to, measure, to estimate the center or the location of our population, we could use the sample mean. So that basically means just adding up these five numbers and dividing by the number of numbers, which is one, two, three, four, five. Well, let's do that again. Divide by the number of numbers. And that gives us the sample mean. So if I actually go and calculate this, you can try this at home, I'm going to get 2,833.6. So that's my estimate of the average number of friends that somebody has. Now this is a bit of a strange number, right? As an aside here, I don't have anything like 2,000 friends, so there might actually be a better way uh, to describe the location of this population, perhaps using something like the median. So these numbers are written out in increasing order. So if I write the numbers out in increasing order and then find the middle number, which is that one there, 128, and that's the median uh, of this sample. And so that's probably a bit closer to the realistic number of uh, friends that people have. Uh, but anyway, this is how we estimate this using the, uh, the, sample, the sample mean. The reason why this is a very large number is because this population uh, of people on, a uh, number of friends on Twitter is very, very right skewed. So you do have to be careful with these things. So that's estimating the population location. The next thing is the population spread. And we can do that using something called the sample standard deviation. And the way that we build that up is we take all of the differences from the mean of everybody in our sample. So that's all of my xi's take away the mean x. Because some of these numbers are negative, we square that. Then we add these up, starting from i equals 1, going up to the nth person in the population or in the sample, sorry. And then we divide by n minus 1. So why is this n minus 1? Well, that's actually related to the number of degrees of freedom here, uh, which is n minus 1 because we have the mean, uh, the sample mean uh, in, my, in my estimator here. So that's all I'll say about the number of degrees of freedom. Uh, if I was going to say anything more about why this is n minus 1, I'd have to kill you, uh, or I'd make you a professional statistician, uh, and I don't know what's worse here. So actually what I've calculated there, that's the sample variance. Uh, so that's the square uh, of the standard deviation because it's got a square in it up here. If I want to convert that something back that's in the same units, same sort of units uh, as what I had before, then I need, to take, uh, the, I need to take the square root of all of that and that gives me the sample standard deviation, S. So now you can do this at home, but if I were to calculate this for our sample, then I would get S equals 6,021.6. Now fortunately, we hardly ever actually have to do these calculations, they're kind of a pain to do, uh, because in R, we've got commands to do this all for us. So to calculate uh, the mean, the sample mean, it's just the word mean, uh, and to calculate the sample standard deviation, we just type SD around the list of numbers that we want to compute. So we'll review those commands in the next, in the next section.